Hello folks and welcome to this new video, my name is Andrew and today we're going to add balls to the scene by mouse click. With that I mean we're going to create new nodes by script, by code. Let's see what I have for you. <laughs> like you can see guys, I have this scene and I can add balls by mouse click. And that's pretty easy to do and it's pretty important because you need that on your games. Now first of all I have a rigid body that is saved like a scene and it's made you know with some physics it can bounce and all the stuff that they don't need to know right now. Here in the main scene I have a node 2D that is this one and we're going to add stuff inside of this. I'm using the node 2D because because somehow the base node here the main one doesn't doesn't allow you to get mouse position. Here we have my code I'm going to delete everything because we're going to do everything from scratch. First of all we need a variable and in this variable we're going to store the path where our scene the slimy ball scene is located because like you may know you may have different folders where your stuff your assets are stored so basically I'm going to put here a variable ball path and I'm going to load the scene and inside of the brackets here I'm going to drag and drop my ball scene and it's going to put there the path of the slimy ball and after that we need to create a function to actually make things happen create the ball and to create the function just put function and give it a name here I'm going to retrieve some information from the mouse and I'm going to say it mouse position now to create a function like I said you just put the word func you give it a name and you can have some attributes inside of the function that you can retrieve when it's called and inside the create ball function we need a new variable and this variable for me is going to be called new ball and it's going to be equal to ball path dot instant and to access to this new ball but that we are creating because we want to be created it where the mouse was clicked we're going to type new ball that is the variable that set position for example and here we're going to put the mouse position attribute last but not least we're going to add this function here add child and inside we're going to say add the new ball okay this function each time that is called is going to create a new ball what we need now is a way to call this function and that can be done with a delta function so just put a function here delta and we're going to check if the mouse button is press so if input that is action action just pressed i previously set my input map and if you don't know how to make that just go to the old tutorial to to set your own input maps and i have here my right mouse click I'm going to select that and here i'm going to call the create ball function and inside here i'm going to get mouse position this way we're going to give this position now if we're on this script here this scene I can add actually balls and that's all we're done but actually like you may know this balls are being added here in the node 2d but if we wanted to set another parent for this you know these new balls we just need to we just need to put here for example get parent and dot a child and it's going to add these balls now here inside of node and it's going to work well as well so it's not a problem like you can see okay guys this was all it's pretty easy and hopefully you learned something and it's very for beginners because everyone knows this and everyone needs this to create dynamically stuff on the scene and obviously you can add it to different parents you just need to set the path by using you know get parent or get node all this stuff here leave a like and subscribe but more important keep making games